And more breaking news tonight, Eileen O'Neill Burke has been declared the winner in the Cook County State's Attorney's race on the Democratic side, beating Clayton Harris III. The race was very close. It was called earlier tonight. We go straight to WGN's Christine Flores, who has the latest on the race. Christine. Well, Jenna and Patrick, good evening. We've been waiting to see who would win this race for the last two weeks. Well, this now means that Eileen O'Neill Burke is the Democratic nominee for Cook County State's attorney. That's according to the Associated Press. Eileen O'Neill Burke released a statement this evening saying in part, it was worth the wait. I am so honored to be the Democratic nominee for Cook County State's attorney. I'd like to congratulate Clayton Harris on a hard fought campaign. While we may have had our differences in this election, we share a love for our beautiful city and Cook County. With 99% of the votes counted, the AP says O'Neill Burke had 50.15%, whereas Clayton Harris III had 49.85%, noting Burke in the lead with a margin of 1,556 votes. O'Neill Burke led in fundraising, which included money from top Republican donors. Harris had numerous endorsements, including those from labor unions and progressive and establishment Democrats. In a statement, Harris said, after months of organizing, meeting and talking with people from across the country and waiting for every vote to be counted, we've fallen a bit short of our goal. I want to congratulate Eileen O'Neill Burke on her victory. The Democratic primary race for Cook County State's attorney opened after Kim Fox decided not to seek a third term. It was among the most spirited and competitive contests in the March 19th Illinois primary. Now this means O'Neill Burke will be on the November 5th ballot. She will be joining Libertarian uh, Andrew Charles Kopinski as well as Republican Bob Fioretti. Now something else to note, Fioretti released a statement today congratulating Burke on her victory and welcoming her to the race. Now the Board of Elections says that uh, there's still some counting to do. They say they're taking a break this weekend, but they will continue early next week to meet that April 2nd deadline. Reporting in the Loop, Christine Flores, WGN News. Christine.